Our three organizations are dedicated uh, to creating a stronger and more stable uh, global framework uh, so that people around the world can lead uh, better and healthier lives. Price is one issue. Health system issues, tariff, other things need to be looked at in a total package. The underlying policy challenge remains the same as it was 20 years ago. The context in which that uh, policy challenge arises and the instruments that are at our disposal for addressing it, I think are very, very different. As you know, in 2015 now marks the 20th anniversary of the WTO and therefore the 20th anniversary of the TRIPS agreement. Um, and the TRIPS agreement introduced um, substantive and comprehensive disciplines on intellectual property rights into the multilateral trading system. They were not there before. Um, and it impacted deeply um, on national intellectual property rules over the world. This agreement, the TRIPS agreement, is a very important tool, a key tool, uh, for balancing precisely uh, the need between um, ensuring fair access to, to medicines on the one hand, and on the other hand, uh, supporting the necessary process of innovation. An important part of our job here is to offer a place for dialogue um, on all these subjects and to increase transparency. So some WTO committees, uh, for example, deal with very sensitive standards and regulations. Uh, for example, uh, the levels of toxins in food um, or caffeine labeling uh, in energy drinks uh, or test procedures uh, for medical devices and pharmaceuticals. So uh, some WTO disputes also uh, have touched upon related health issues. For example, looking at policies to discourage tobacco consumption. Patents promote technological innovation and they should also contribute to the dissemination of technology and to the mutual advantage of producers and users alike. The private sector must make profit. There's no other way out. They are not charity. What is a fair profit for an R&D-based company? The costs have forced some national health services to ration treatment comes other questions. Which groups come first? In a situation where you have to ration treatment. Ladies and gentlemen, the overarching goal of the Agenda for Sustainable Development, as referred to by Roberto, of course the Director General of WTO, which was adopted by heads of states and heads of governments in New York last month, is to put the world's poor and vulnerable populations first, not last. The fair interpretation and implementation of the TRIPS agreement can contribute to that goal. We are now in a much more data-driven world, and I very much welcome the focus on this in this particular uh, symposium. Uh, and in saying that, of course, I would make two caveats uh, of a general nature. The first is from T.S. Eliot, who in, in 1934, actually, in The Rock, wrote, where is the wisdom that we have lost in knowledge, and where is the knowledge that we have lost in information? And I think you could perhaps add another line to it, and where is the information that we have lost in data? improvements in communications, in media, in transportation, uh, and the regulatory framework of more open markets have contributed uh, considerably, of course, to the movement of uh, people, germs, arms, capital, pollution, and ideas across borders. And I think this has introduced a degree of complexity uh, in policy making uh, that was simply not present in the world some 20 years ago. And it requires a much more enhanced degree of cooperation between states and non-state actors. The real innovation that we need is organisational or governance to respond to complexity, 
uh, in a world in which data is giving us the possibility to identify the areas where it is needed. Uh, and this is why we, in particular, very much welcome this trilateral cooperation between our three organisations uh, with our respective mandates uh, as a very minor contribution to organisational innovation. And I wish you very good deliberations today. Thank you.